where we get the gist, the way it's supposed to be seen and the way it's supposed to be gotten. Um, as a matter of fact, at Raw Impact Africa TV, whatever the gist is that makes sense, whatever the gist is that makes brain, where you get it is here at Raw Impact Africa TV. So what I want you to do right now is go nowhere, click that subscription button, comment, like, and share. And if there's just anything you want us to talk about on this platform today, just let us know on the comment section. And guess what? We will definitely talk about it. All right. So um, we have something uh, very peculiar and very interesting today. And it has to do with the fact that um, the president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has actually made up his mind to scrap EFCC and ICPC. And yeah, uh, it's not too far from the truth. Uh, so much, so many things have been happening in Nigeria of late, you know. Um, issues of corruption has actually risen, you know, to more than 200%. And um, the economy seems to not have a headway anywhere. You know, people seem to um, be more like confused right now and people seem not to know what's happening next and what we need to do. So um, what has happen actually happened here now is that uh, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has decided to uh, set foot on the right direction by first of all scrapping some um, organizations and ministries that he felt um, are really not necessary. Not really that he failed, but the truth be told, most of these ministries are actually just doing nothing but pure repetition. You know, a, a case where you have uh, the same ministry, uh, you have three, four ministries doing almost one and the same thing. So at the end of the day, you just find out that um, they've all turned all of them to conduit pipes uh, where they used to siphon um, resources of the Federal Republic. So the Nigerian government during the Federal Executive Council meeting on Monday reached the decision to scrap some of these agencies, commissions and parastatals of the federal government. This parastatal needs to be scrapped so that we can actually understand the color of our problem. Our problem is actually very peculiar and very dynamic. The more we try to solve it, the more we have all of these issues. That is why the presidency has now made the plan to scrap all of these organizations. The FEC also agreed to merge, subsume, and relocate some of the agencies, commissions, and processors in order to reduce the cost of governance. You see, cost of governance is actually very, very high. You know, it's pretty high. And the only thing that can work to make it work these days is to see how we can reduce cost of governance. And when cost of governance reduces to the barest minimum, uh, people can actually have resources and funds to do other things. So today, we will be bringing to you the complete list of the government agencies to be scrapped and those to be merged with others. That's the whole idea about this video, to see how we can bring to you go, uh, agencies that are will go be scrapped and agencies that will be submerged, you know, because they're actually doing one and the same thing with other agencies. So why should you not keep them when, as a matter of fact, they are all doing the same thing. So uh, the first agency to be scrapped is the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate to be scrapped and functions transferred to the Federal Ministry of Finance. You see, I know that there's a, an organization called PENCOM. You know, there's a PENCOM somewhere. So if there is a PENCOM now, so what are we now doing with Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate? You know, and there are people there who are being paid salaries. There are people there who are, you see, and there are people there who, but they have a structure, they have building, they have a budget. You know, if things continue to be like this, then we are all doing nothing but, you know, a, a, a circle, you know, where money is still unnecessarily spent. So um, the first uh, um, agency to be scrapped is actually the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate. And the truth be told, I'm just hearing about this um, um, meeting, um, uh, organization for the very first time. You see, this is the just the very, very first time I'm hearing about this organization. So you now realize that the lot of organizations like this that are just somewhere, you know, just to eat money and collect money and no direct function that you can say, okay, well, see what these people then they do. The way they say the day go break, they will go work, all in the name of work. So there's another one called National Senior Secondary School Education Commission. N S S E C. I've not heard of this one too. Say so to be scrapped and functions transferred to the Department of Basic and Secondary Education in the Federal Ministry of Education. Okay, now there's a federal, there's a basic 
and secondary education in federal ministry of education and there is a national senior secondary education commission which has also been existing for as long as we know and they've actually been collecting salaries you know and um for their mind they've been working you see you see the problem of nigeria so there's another ministry that is going to be merged and this is national agency for control of aids national agency for the control of aids naka yeah i knew of naka for a very long time in the time where uh, the hiv pandemic was everywhere naka was very 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 effective you know yeah it was a very effective place very very lucrative then too so right now naka is going to be merged under the center for disease control in the federal ministry of health yeah it's supposed to be it's okay for it to be under um disease control i mean why should you now go and have a naka separately as a ministry then now have center for disease control disease now disease so they are all one and the same thing instead of us just um mentioning different different names you know just to keep things going so it's best they merge them together you know so uh, there's the other one called national emergency management agency nema there's a nema and also all all of state all states also have sema you know so this now will be merged with national commission for refugees migrants and internally displaced persons wow this is actually really big so you know nema is supposed to be like a little agency so they are now going to be merging it with internal displaced persons you know i think this is also a very very good one so uh, there's another ministry too that will be merged directorate of technical cooperation in africa dictca to be merged with directorate of technical aid DTAC, and to function as permanent departments in the ministry of foreign affairs truth be told i've actually not heard about this directorate this is the very first time i'm hearing about them so you now know that there are a lot of them that exist like this that people tend not to see so once they are now merged they are, uh, i think they are actually going to be functioning um a little bit better so um there's another one called infrastructure co-session and regulatory commission okay i think i heard of this one before icrc to be messed with Bureau for public enterprise hmm. zoe zenita thank you so much for coming so they are going to be merging icrc with Bureau for public enterprise hmm. this is also another heavy one that um, we actually do not know but we only hear them in passing then there's another one called nigerian investment promotion commission nipsey i've heard about nipsey nipsey now will be merged with nigerian export promotion council you know why one has to do with export the other one has to do with import import now is when you bring in something export is when you send something out so naturally they're supposed to be together so why were they now separated all this while you know using it now to uh, spend unnecessary uh, funds and money that a state is supposed to use for something um, better you see so um yeah i think uh, this is actually um things in the right direction when we continue to see things like this happen we it just gives us the impetus to know that help is coming because right now the country is actually in a very hopeless state there's so much hopelessness in the land we actually do not know what to do and where to go to that is why it's important for some of this um, um for some of this uh, programs to act, be activated as soon as possible so that people can actually begin to have a sense of livelihood and they, uh, they, they need to grow into becoming better citizens of the federal republic then there's another one called national agency for science and engineering infrastructure naseni yeah okay i think i've heard of naseni before naseni is going to be merged with national center for agricultural mechanization nakam and project development institute pro that yeah so uh this one's now uh yeah yeah ministries that we've not even heard about before but now they've decided to bring them together then there's another one called national biotechnology development agency you know napda to be merged with national center for genetic resources and biotechnology nak grab you know so uh yeah it is actually getting quite interesting uh, interesting because we have actually I, I don't know about others 
But I, for instance, I've actually not heard uh, about most of these ministries before. This is the first and only time I'm hearing about them. So now when we begin to now imagine and analyze, uh, so all these ministries, they are like this, then we still the suffer. So I even think, now then be the genesis of our problem, sir, because they spend so much money trying to keep them, trying to build them, and trying to make them uh, uh, um, to function. So there's another one called National Institute for Leather Science Technology, NILEST, to be merged with National Institute for Chemical Technology. <laughs> now, wow, maybe small thing. So there's another one called the Nomadic Education Commission, NEC, to be merged with the National Commission for Mass Literacy, Adult Education, and Non-Formal Education. Yeah, education is education. So they should um, look for a way to merge those ones, you know, so that they can actually function well and better. So uh, there's another one called, uh, which is very popular, a lot of us know about it, Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN. No, Nigeria now has Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria. The Nigeria also have Voice of Nigeria. So the question now, what the hell are you doing with two national radio stations? It doesn't really make any economic sense. You have Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, you now have VON, which is Voice of Nigeria. We actually like the most popular one so people actually are just replicating and duplicating uh, responsibilities and positions these are the things that we do not need and require because when we continue to replicate and go around and around the same thing we are bound not to have the right result we were looking for so there's another one called the National Commissions for Museums Monument to be merged with National Arts Gallery, which is true. I mean, National Arts Gallery Day, you can still get National Museums and Monuments. So now what are their functions? They are all functioning the same thing. It's one and the same thing. Maybe they stop to confuse us. Mm, they should just stop confusing you know, because we we, 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 we we beg not to be confused. So uh, museums, National Commission for Museums and Monuments is going to be merged with National Gallery for Arts. That is actually uh, the next level. So um, there's another one, the National Theater, to be merged with the National Troop of Nigeria. You have National Troop, you now separate it from Arts and um, a, a National Theater. So what's going to be happening? They should now function in such a way that they will now encourage performances, they will now encourage things to have, begin to happen in the National Theater. And the only way that could actually work is when there is they are going to be they're going to open up to collaborations you know collaborations from both local and international um stage producers and actors and directors who want to put money in it now you, it's going to be difficult for them to grow that way if structures are not put in place that is why the federal government is making concerted effort to see that they put uh, things in place so that people can easily go watch events, watch programs, and feel excited instead of just hanging on the balance and um, not um, kind of getting hope for anything that will definitely or likely happen. So uh, there's another one called the National Metallurgical Development Center, um, uh, uh, NDC, to be merged with National Metallurgical Training Institute, you know. So this is also a good one. They are also going to be merging them. So there's another one called the Nigerian Army University to be merged with Nigerian Defense Academy. Yeah, I think that is also very important and very correct. NDA, National Defense Academy, is already an academy for the paramilitary. You know, Army, soldiers, everybody goes there. So now why are you not having Nigerian Army University? You know, as in just, just to specialize only on Army alone. So that is also something that um, is going to be changed, you know, so that um, we can actually have uh, a pathway to where we're going to. So the one we just called now are mentioned are ministries that have been co-opted and asked to function under uh, some certain ministries just so that the, uh, 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 the level of living in Nigeria can actually improve. Then there are a couple of agencies you know, we who are going to be subsumed, subsumed now in the sense that they are going to more like second placement to be placed with some certain ones in the ministry. The first one is Servicom, service com service compact with all Nigerians to be subsumed to function as a department 
under Bureau for Public Service Reforms. Yeah, so now it doesn't make no economic sense now for um, uh, Servicom to still function. Rather, they are now going to function on their own. Rather, they are now going to function as a department under Bureau for Public Service Reforms. Servicom, Public Service Reforms, all of them, it's one and the same responsibility that they are carrying out. So now, why should you now go and be replicating uh, uh, programs or jobs when, in the truth of it, you can actually uh, provide uh, what is needed to make this uh, ministry move ahead as it should. So uh, the other one now is the Border Communities Development Agency, BISDA, to be consumed to function as the department under the National Boundary Commission, NBC. So NBC now also has now uh, been given bigger and more responsibility. They've been asked to uh, uh, um, they've been asked to bring to the notice of 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 the system uh, uh, border communities development agency, which is going to be subsumed now to function under National Boundary Commission of Nigeria. That is actually a good step in the right direction to cushion the effects of this. Um, uh, um, uh, um, tight fitness that is being experienced in Nigeria right now. So, uh, National Salaries Income and Mergers Commission and NCIWC and NCIWC to be subsumed into Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission. Now, Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission is the people who determine the salaries of all senior servants in Nigeria. So, if you now have that one, now you might have National Salaries Income and Wages Commission. It doesn't really make any economic sense. So, rather, that ministry should now function as, you know, as a unit, you know, so to speak, under um, a unit under uh, Revenue Mobilization and physical commission. So uh, there's another one that is called Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution to be subsumed under Nigerian Institute for International Affairs, NIIA. You know, so um, in Institute for Peace and uh, Conflict Resolution, um, just thank you for your time. So just go and relax and rest now so that um, the, the system that be will actually look for a suitable place that they could um, make you lay your head pending when every other thing is going to be fine so um public complaints commission to be subsumed under national human rights commission you know so you know, uh, uh, um the, the truth about the matter is in as much as in as much as um everybody wants things to be done the right way so a lot of people still want to go the other way to do it public complaints commission is going to be subsumed under human rights commission because they are all almost doing similar things. So why duplicate them now when you know that you can actually have them to function together? So Nigerian Institute of Trypanosomiasis <laughs> to be subsumed under Institute of Veterinary Research. Yes, now, how can you have trypanosomiasis differently? So you mean each sickness now has its own, each sickness now going to have each, each ministry. It's not going to work that way. No, 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 it cannot work that way. So trypanosomiasis ministry has been scrapped rather is now going to be working with um the, the national uh, um the is going to now be working hand in hand uh with uh, national human rights um okay sorry trypanosomiasis is now going to be working uh with veterinary research you know so that is actually how it is going to work so uh, nigerian uh, natural medicine development agency NDA, to be subsumed into the national institute for pharmaceutical research and development national intelligence agency pension commission to be subsumed under the administration of national pension commission pencom and then pension commission yeah pencom yeah so pencom is now going to be swallowing in national intelligence agency and uh, pension commission we are going to actually um, surrender everything to them so that they will now lead them. With this one now, it's now easy and possible for people to uh, have a, a say because the country now actually, as a matter of fact, belongs to everyone, not like before, where it comes up. So uh, it is very, very, very important for 
um, people to adhere to this um, very serious, strong point that will help them. The Nas Nas Nigerian Film and Video Censors Board to be subsumed as a department in the Ministry of Arts and Culture and Good Economy. You know, so um, it, it should not just be business as usual before. Um, this time around, we are going to stay a little, you know, we are going to uh, waste time small. So, uh, um, Nigerian Film and Video Censors Board has been subsumed as a department in the Ministry of Arts, Culture, and the Creative Economy. So, agencies to be relocated. <clears throat> While some agencies are being transformed, others are being relocated. Like Niger Letter Power Holding Company to be relocated to the Ministry of Power. National Agricultural Land Development Agency to be located to Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. National Blood Service Commission to be converted into an agency and located to the Federal Ministry of Health. Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, NICTCOM, to be commissioned to be converted into an agency and transferred to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, that is for... Um, that is, that is for. Uh, okay, yeah, that is for um, the NITCO, you know, National Nigerian Industrial Commission, which is a very, very, very um, important um, group. So, be that as it may, we've come to understand and see here that um, the need to merge all of this. Um, organizations cannot be overemphasized as hard and as try as we try to do you know it's still very very urgent and important for us to understand that it is actually not that easy to be sustained like this but there are a couple of ones that i was expecting in this that i didn't see like especially there's supposed to be a merger between vio and road safety because instead kuma tell all of us will go begin to host the of all we will be risky, you know, because now they've already uh, VIO is doing the same thing, road safety doing the same thing, even police a couple of times are doing what VIO is supposed to be doing. So it now gives you concern and worry. And okay, if this one who is a leader, who is an elder, is sitting down, I cannot sit down for like two to three minutes, then Oyo is now becomes the case. Because persons will begin to find it difficult to comprehend, not knowing quite well that it is not like that. So they should also take a look at the police and fire service who incidentally could not make it here. Rather, I came here as a representative of them. So my people, this is how far we'll be going on today's broadcast. We hope to come your way again. If you're not subscribed to our channel, quickly click the notification button. Comment, like, and share. And if you have, may God continue to bless you. Thank you very much and bye-bye.